So, going over the numbers <clears throat> for Airbnb. You know, I'm just going to start daily vlogging and pretend like I never stopped. I'm not really going to make a big deal about it. I think we're just going to start doing it. For you guys that don't know, I own a few different Airbnbs. So we're looking at the numbers. And one of the things we're trying to figure out is if... I'm not going to show you all the numbers, but I'll show you some. Here's a great example of one of the houses. The A-frame right here. So the A-frame in 2020 made $33,000. Then in 2021, and this is net, uh, $74,000. And then last year it made $83,000. This year it's projected to make about $100,000 a year. So that's on one property. Now I have another property like that, but I love it so much and it's the farmhouse. I'm trying to figure out everything I can do the farmhouse right now to make it so that I can rent it, but still have it be my farmhouse. There's a larger play on a property that I wanna make, which I'm actually gonna go see here in a minute. All right, so here's the plan. Here's the farmhouse. Here's the horses. Here's my extra barn. Here's Jake's house. So what I wanna do is I wanna add a driveway out here, right? So right now the driveway's here, but I'll gate this driveway. So essentially this property over here will still be my property. This property over here will then be the rental property. I'm gonna secure the gate all the way here, put another fence here, add some new parking over here, some stairs. So we're thousand dollars for fire pit, about $1,000 to take out the gate, add more fence, $3,000 in furniture, $10,000 in driveway and stone over here, $4,000 for fencing to add there, another $5,000, another $4,000 for fencing here. And if I start running this, this should make me about five to $10,000 a month, which will pay for the property that we are about to go see. Go ahead and say, you can say, Rob, you haven't done videos in forever. And I haven't done videos in forever. I actually stopped making videos because I was tired or because I was relying on other people. But I just went back and watched some of my older videos and some of the things that I think really made my videos so special, right, that I really, really enjoyed were that it was just me. It felt like I was alone a lot of times. Looking back, it felt like a little secret window into my life. And for nothing else, oh, we're blown out. Let me fix that. Uh, and, and nothing else. It was cool to look back and remember my life. So I thought to myself, why don't I just record more things? Well, maybe my quality is not going to be good enough. Maybe I'm going to be too stressed, but I think I have to do it. So here we are. What in the hell is going on out here? Ooh, my dirt bike's back. Oh, once again, we're blown out. You're going to work with me here. And I can't zoom because we're on a prime lens, but... Bear down on the bastards. The grip on this will surely fail. I'll last them all, you will prevail Bear down on the bastards The times that I really like, so I'm in here sewing all day today, doing that But first, I need to take a little break I'm designing And something I've been doing every single day is an imam So every minute on the minute, I do it for 20 minutes It's kicking the hell out of me So I've been doing the bike with something else, 15 calories And then normally 15 reps of something 15 calories, 15 reps, something. Then after that, we're gonna hit legs. Then after legs, we're gonna do a shake. And then after a shake, we're gonna do sauna. And then after sauna, we're getting back to design work. These are my favorite days. Uh, I built this warehouse to just really be my dream warehouse. And it has been exactly that. Days like this where it's completely empty, I just get to be here alone, man, and just work, 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 play my music and enjoy myself. I built the exact life that I want. So for you guys that haven't seen the gym in a while, we have crammed as much equipment in here as possible. So we got squat racks over here, all the leg equipment. I mean, we got pendulum squat, hack squat. We got everything you need. Uh, basketball court's still here. We got a vertical leg press over there. Uh, we've added hip thrust. We got the calves. We've got uh, leg extension prime. Once again, as you can see, I love prime. So leg extension, leg curl, seated leg curl, inner and outer over there. Really just, really just crammed in here. This is the best though. This is the best. We're gonna go, we're gonna go do this. Do big noise to start, right? And then we're gonna do all of our work to big noise. After the big noise, which someone drank half of that one, so I'm gonna take a big noise. Then after a big noise, we're gonna come back, mid-workout, we're gonna get a built for carbohydrates, and then we're gonna finish with making 
Not an MRE, but we're gonna make a shake upstairs. So mid, mid-training, um, mid-squats, or belt squats, I just did a docu-sign for a, um, for a really big deal. And um, the agreement, I formed a general partnership with my brother. This is all stuff I cover within my coaching group. Um, but it's been a very stressful deal. Um, it's been leveraging a lot. And uh, numbers wise, it's been, it's been a lot. Just signed the deal for her, which gives me roughly Sorry, roughly profit. And I'm gonna be able to get, not even worried about the general partnership, really. Um, I'm gonna ignore that and I'm gonna be able to give Mux. So in three months, my brother's gonna see. Um, there's his bank account. I think that's, um, <clears throat> in starting business and doing all this shit, it's one of the things that's um, always sort of been my goal, right? And I've uh, been trying to do it, been trying to get that in his account, and um, I started out really strong, and then we started doing so many deals, a lot of it was like building up an equity in things, and um, I've had a couple interesting years where I plan on bonusing him more than I I wanted to, and I think the end of um, end of last year was a little was a little rough. Um, I wasn't a, I wasn't able to bonus him, so that like it's a little heavy for me because I I want to take care of my people. Um, I'm, I'm probably not going to use this clip, but it's good that I have it. It's not easy. It's fucking hard. And it's one of the reasons why I have, I started CCV, my coaching group, is because I can share a lot of these things and I can share a lot of the risks. And I, I try to give as much value as possible. And I can tell you how I structured it. I can tell you how I leveraged it. I can tell you everything that went wrong. And I'll... I'll cover, the, I'll cover all, that all within the group, but I think that's the... I'm gonna re-record this later when I'm not a fucking mess. So I bleeped out a lot of those numbers, um, but I wanted to leave the clip in there because that wasn't a moment that I was planning on filling. That was a surprise contract sent to me, and I, I did the math and I realized like what we had accomplished. Um, I think a lot of times when I win, I don't, I don't celebrate, like I'm not gonna go to the club and like pop a bottle or, or, or celebrate maybe normally how I think other people celebrate. Um, but it did, it did hit me really, still is, really, really heavy and I'm just really, really fucking happy. And I think I just expressed a little bit different, but <clears throat> enough of that, I finished out this fucking workout.
with this silly movement uh, that's really trying to strengthen my ankles, my balance, and open up my hips. Oh man, what a fucking day. That was one hell of a training session. I uh, uh, wasn't expecting to get that call today, uh, but we did, and we closed the deal which is fucking crazy. I think one of the reasons that I wanna come back to daily vlogging is because a lot of these moments happen and I have so many things going on that they happen and I forget them. And I also don't get to share them with others, right? It's a very private thing for me. So I'm making my post-workout shake. Little trick is use pineapple juice and red con vanilla, it's delicious. One of the real big benefits to sharing with others is not, I'm trying to brag, right? I'm not trying to flex on everybody and, and say like, oh, I did this deal. It's because growing up, right? I was not aware of what was possible, right? So I thought that, <clears throat> you know, multi-million dollar deals, I thought that owning businesses, I thought that all this shit was reserved for other people. I didn't think people that came from where I came from, that had a family like my family, I didn't think it was possible. And I look back now, it's like, damn, man, I spent so much time just not being aware. So if I can put together videos where I can share within my coaching group that shit like this is possible, right? And if this deal is possible, where I can give my dollars, if that's possible, then guess what? Those $50 million deals are possible. And if those $50 million deals are fucking possible, that means the $100 million deals are possible. It's like how no one broke the four minute mile until one motherfucker broke the four minute mile. Then all of a sudden everyone started doing it. So I think the more we can share about our wins, the more we can show people what the fuck is possible, the more we can help each other. Mm. Just a little pineapple juice and some fucking protein. That's a good little mixture. I don't know if you guys can see, but like, I fucking, I cried the whole rest of my workout. Like a little fucking baby. <clears throat> All right, we're wrapping up the workout <coughs> in the sauna. So one thing is when I was building this warehouse, I wanted a sauna in it. I wanted the sauna to get really fucking hot. So it's roughly 180 degrees right now. It's hard to breathe, but I wanted to be able to put a treadmill in the sauna because I like just sitting in the sauna, but I also like fucking moving, man. And I wanted to be able to have meetings in here. So this is a, I forget how many people we can fit, like 17 people in the sauna. Possibilities, man. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Done. I'm gonna go get a shower and then start designing some bags. I've got three bags that I wanna finalize today. And then I'm gonna call it quits. Look at that, I'm back. I'm a daily vlogger. Wowie wowie. I'm gonna try my best. I, uh, I've always enjoyed this process. And it's something right now that I feel like in my life I really want to do. I don't have to do this, but I want to do this. I think documenting, and I think today was a really cool realization. If I document my life and share it, it's gonna do really cool things. One of the biggest things I'm trying to remind everyone that there's a lot of possibility out there and you have to take some risk. You gotta put your time in. When things work out, they work out. <laughs> I had a lot of things not work out, but uh, when something does work out, it feels that much better. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow.